Nancy Fredericks is the CEO of Nancy Fredericks International and Thrive with Nancy. And um, you call yourself a business executive strategist. Exactly. <laughs> which, uh, once again, sounds like I am not qualified to have this conversation. But um, when you're talking about strategy and one of the biggest strategies some businesses take on in order to succeed is collaboration. Exactly. That's actually the, the the title of your talk will be six magical prac magical practices, exactly. not just regular practice, not like muggle practices, <laughs> not muggle practices, but magical practices for successful collaboration. So talk about collaboration in the context of women in a male dominated uh, category or industry. Well, I love to talk about collaboration because it impacts you in your personal life and it also impacts you in your business life. And the strategy work that I've been doing for the last over 30 years has all been directed towards executives and helping them improve their careers where they have more influence and say in what's going on. And one of the critical areas that's become even more powerfully needed in today's age is this issue of collaboration. So I've worked with Fortune 100 companies where executives who are coaching with me say, hey, Nancy, I've got a problem with my team. And as we dissect the issue, it really comes down to something as simple as no one started with rules of engagement when they started their collaboration. Or everyone thinks someone that who's on the team is weak and not able to handle what's going on. And they're all simple people issues that if they were addressed in the very beginning would create magic outcomes. And so that's why I call it magic. That's why I believe in collaboration. And the people that I've worked with are always calling me and laughing and going, Nancy, this works in my family too. I mean, before we're going on vacation, we set rules of engagement now about expectations and what times you have to go off and do what you want to do or when we're together as a family. And it's really exciting to see how the change happens. It's really exciting to hear you describe that. In my career, I've worked with a handful of, of consultants, right? And correct me if I'm wrong, a consultant does have this magical ability to tell you something that you kind of already know, but reinforce it and explain it in a way that it's like, yes, that's what we need to do. And it, correct me if I'm wrong, Nancy, it sounds kind of like that's what you're saying, because everything you're talking about makes perfect a, sense. Exactly. Perfect <laughs> sense. And yet sometimes we need an expert. Right? Right. To come in and help us steer, take that side street, if you will, or steer down that, you know, interstate. Almost everyone in this room, I'm sure, and who is listening has at one time seen the picture that some people see the young woman and some people see the old lady. And I was a dyed, true old lady. That's all I saw when I first saw that picture. And then someone, a friend of mine said, no young lady. And we were kind of fighting it out. Do you know what I mean? Did you set your rules of engagement before you? No, we okay. didn't. That, I learned it through, the, through experiences like this. But as my friend would go around and describe, here's where the feather is, here's where this is, I went, bing, aha. Now I can see it both ways, and I think that's the, what the work is that I do, is that it's common sense, it's practical, it's usable. You go back and instantly you're there and you're able to uh, put it into practice. But it's also that click, that aha, that has you looking at a broader picture than you ever did before. And again, while you're looking at the same thing someone else is, and I guess that's really the brilliance of someone who excels in their field, uh, be it uh, consulting or coaching or anything like that, is you take what everybody else is seeing right. and you can explain it or offer another way of dealing with the problem that, again, can be just like magic the first time you hear it. I think that you're absolutely right. Also is a celebration for women because 
I have my uh, silver hair to show that I've been around for a little while. And I can remember when women had no positions of authority. I can remember where we had very, very little choice in what our careers would be. It was limited to what women could do. And so that's no longer the case. That's been erased. I'm looking for parity. And one of the ways we get parity is if the system changes, but I'm not able to change the system. And what we're wanting to do is gather women together to have them come into community to celebrate who we are in the world, but also to give us all a new way of looking at things that may open a whole new pathway for their careers and how they are in their organizations. When uh, at the the outset of the conversation, Nancy, you said that in uh, your 30 or so years working with executives and sometimes Fortune 500 companies, you're working with folks that want more influence is the the term that I wrote down. Right. All I could think of is uh, I've seen this on T-shirts. I've seen it on coffee cups. Um, the phrase is I need more money and power and less right. blank from you. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> Right. (laughs) So that's essentially what you've dealt with, and you've helped people achieve those goals. And I also want to say that not everyone wants to rise to the top. Mm. And there's a lot of people that I've worked with who are thrilled and happy and satisfied right where they are because they don't want to take on the additional responsibility. But they feel like they're not heard. And so part of what I support them in is figuring out ways, no matter where you are in your organization, to be heard and to make a difference. And at the root of it, it would be hard for me to believe there's anyone out there that doesn't at some place in their life, whether it's with their family or at work or with their friends, where they want to be the difference maker. Thanks for listening to the interview between Gabe Chinwith, General Manager at KMTS in Glenwood Springs, Colorado and Nancy Fredericks, CEO of Thrive with Nancy. Wasn't that an informative conversation? If you're looking for more of the same, you can have a chat with Nancy yourself at thrivewithnancy.com forward slash A-P-P-T. That's thrivewithnancy.com forward slash A-P-P-T. I'm thrilled you've listened to the Thrive with Nancy podcast. My intention is to offer quick tips designed for you to apply right away, ones that will boost your career immediately. I bet you're already considering ways to implement these new ideas. Perfect. Now, if you do me a favor, pass the podcast link on to those who will benefit, your friends and coworkers. Thanks so much.